God bless you, my beloved. Thank you for joining us today. We are Abundant Grace Church. I am Bishop Ramon Di Maria. I'm the senior pastor of the church. Welcome to our Wednesday night Bible study. Our topic today is peace, God's richest blessings. Our scripture is Romans chapter 5 and verse 1. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. That is from the King James Version. The God's Word Version renders it, Now that we have been put right with God through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. My beloved, if you are seeking peace in the things of this present world, or through the rulers in it, you will never find it. Peace is the opposite of war, persecution, temptation, condemnation, alarm, disorder, strife, contention, controversy, and quarreling. So let me ask you today, where are you searching to find peace? By our human nature, since the fall, we are all enemies of God. And by works of evil, we show and strengthen our intense like to God and holiness. This opening leads us to our main verse today, Romans chapter 5 and verse 1. You see, my beloved, by this peace with God, we are free from condemnation and are no longer hostile to God. Neither is he to us. We no longer contend with Almighty God, nor does he with us. The reason is that Jesus Christ is our guarantor, our sacrifice, our peace. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 7 says, And God's peace, which is far beyond human understanding, will keep your hearts and minds safe in union with Christ Jesus. My beloved, without Christ in your life, there can never be peace with God. John chapter 14 and verse 27 says, Peace is what I leave with you. It is my own peace that I give you. I do not give it as the world does. Do not be worried and upset. Do not be afraid. Beloved, nothing in this life can destroy this peace, for it is eternal. A scripture that guarantees us this eternal peace is 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verses 21 through 23, which reads, in part, so don't brag about people. Everything belongs to you, whether it is Paul, Apollos, Cephas, the world, life, or death, present or future, things. Everything belongs to you. You belong to Christ, and Christ belongs to God. Romans chapter 8 and verse 6 says, To be controlled by human nature results in death. To be controlled by the Spirit results in life and peace. Beloved, from peace with God through Jesus Christ flows the peace of conscience. Conscience means the ability to distinguish between what is right and what is wrong. The Holy Spirit leads you as to what is wrong and what is right. Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 22 says, Let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Beloved, we must have our consciences purged from dead works or we never can be acceptable and serve the living God. The Holy Spirit leads us in the right direction so that can be accomplished. Beloved, the peace of conscience is often interrupted by our sinfulness and foolishness, our lack of good judgment. When worldliness takes the place of spiritual discernment and when principle is allowed to take the place of righteous principles, when practice is made to conform to temptation, when time seems more important than eternity, then we may know that sooner or later there will be a disorder in our consciences. Confusion of mind and spirit is never in the plan of God. Another type of peace is when God disposes, which means discards or gets rid of, a fellow men to regard us with so much favor as to let us alone, not to tease, torment, persecute, or make war upon us, but to think, speak, and act in a friendly way towards us. Beloved, this is a great blessing. When it is guaranteed to us, we should give great thanks to God for it, for he is its author. Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 7 says, When a man's ways please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. So in closing, my beloved, it is truth that this peace is not like the others. My beloved, peace with God through Jesus Christ is a peace of piety, righteousness, love, and happiness. Jesus Christ, our Savior, said, Think not that I am come to send peace on the earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. That's in Matthew chapter 10 
and verse 34. The effect of true piety under all dispensations has been to provoke the malice of wicked men, though oftentimes it is restrained by the good providence of God. My beloved, God turns men's hearts wherever he will. He uses evil people to do great things. He uses good people to perform his will. My beloved, know that as humans, we have good and evil living within us. This is why we need the conviction of the Holy Spirit in our lives. When you have the Holy Spirit living in you, because Jesus Christ is your Savior and Lord, you have God's richest blessing, which is peace with him. If you have never received Christ as your Savior and Lord, please do so today. I want to lead you in a prayer. If you want that supernatural peace that only comes through Jesus Christ, let us pray. Father God, in Jesus' name, I heard the teaching today. Peace, God's richest blessing. And I don't have peace in my life, but I want peace in my life now. I want to become a Christian. I believe that Jesus Christ is the author of peace, that God sent him to die for my sins, that he was crucified, died, buried, rose from the dead on the third day, and ascended into heaven, is now sitting at the right hand of God the Father in a place of all power and all majesty. Please forgive me of my sins today, Father. Make me new. Save me. Do a new work in me and use me for your kingdom work. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. My beloved, if you said that prayer and truly repented of your sins, let me be the first to welcome you into the kingdom of God. Now, what I would like you to do is go to a Bible preaching, teaching church, get an audience with a pastor, tell him what happened, ask him to anoint you with oil, to pray with you, to pray for you, and to baptize you in water by full immersion in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Ask him to mentor you and to give you a Bible if you don't have one. Then I would like you to contact me at Abundant.Grace at ATT.net. Thank you for being with us tonight for our Wednesday night Bible teaching, which is titled, Peace, God's Richest Blessing, from Romans chapter 5 and verse 1. Please continue to follow us. We praise God for all of you that are listening. God bless you and go with God.